a fun Asia presentation. Welcome people who are watching us and we are so glad to bring today to you two very special people from Indie Meme joining us. You know, a lot of you already must be knowing Indie Meme who are already, you guys are the followers and patrons and watch all the films that they bring to you. But uh, all my Fun Asia uh, listeners and watchers who do not know about Indie Meme, you know, they do some amazing work in Texas bringing socially relevant independent cinema from South Asia. Really, some films that you have never, ever seen. It's a treat to watch. The way they curate it, the way they bring it is amazing. And right now, we are amidst their sixth IMFF, which is the Indie Meme Film Festival. And today, I have the pleasure to talk to these two wonderful, amazing women who have been an integral part of this collaboration. So please welcome Shweta Rajesh, the programming director. Hi, Shweta. Hi, Navneeta. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Lovely. Thank you for being here. And Ananya Ravi. Uh, hi, Ananya. She is the technical director. Hi. Hi, Navneeta. Good to be Yay, here. Yay, all the filmy background and those films we've never heard of. This is so exciting. So uh, Shweta, programming director, you know, uh, a big, big name, something that really comes with a lot of hard work. I'm definitely sure. What does this role want you to do? So a programming director basically creates the program, curates the program, as in we bring in the films for the audience to watch. So it's a very rigorous process. We start this process about seven months right before the festival starts. Uh, I bring a team together. We do a lot of research on independent cinema from uh, South Asia, because we cover, as Indie Meme, we cover countries like India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, uh, Nepal, Bhutan, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Tibet. Wow. And so you cover it all. Yeah. Yeah. So our, the idea is to bring films from these countries. Uh, a lot of people do not get access to films from these countries. So we, as a uh, an organization create or give this platform for those independent filmmakers to showcase their work. So a lot of research is done by my team where we get these films, either these films are doing its festival rounds are, or are under post-production and just about getting ready for festival rounds. So we get hold of uh, the filmmaker, ask them for their work, they send it over. And before I curate, let's say about 25 films, I've already watched close to 150 films. Wow, that's a lot of work. I mean, oh my God. And that means you must be a complete uh, taker of all the films, watching it with an eye to select or not to select. Absolutely. And every film has to not necessarily have a social relevance, but it has to uh, sit in with the, the motto of Indie Meme and what we bring as an organization and what we believe in. So if I feel that film resonates with our mission, then that's the film for us to show. Awesome. So um, there, uh, and when technical aspect is taken into account, Ananya, uh, how did you get into this role? And what? how did it excite you to be in Indie Meme with technical role? Yeah, so actually I started as a volunteer um, almost as soon as I moved to Austin, maybe six months after I moved to Austin, uh, my uncle actually shared... Uh, a link to you know they had a call for volunteers and was like I think you would be interested so that's how I reached out and that's how I got on board and initially I was doing social media I was doing you know uh, driving duty for all of the filmmakers bringing them in um, and then after a year or so of doing that I came on board as technical chair and that happened to be the same year that the pandemic hit and suddenly you know from my the main role of, okay, get everything up online, get the website going, get the, you know, ticketing site going. From that, it became, okay, now the whole festival is going to be online. Wow, that has completely changed. But guys, do you see, because of everything being virtual and everything, everyone being home, a lot of new filmmakers have come uh, in showcasing who had this as passion but didn't have the time to really follow that passion? Do you see a shift there or it has affected you majorly? Um, it has definitely affected the industry big time. Like a lot of filmmakers ideally would like their film to be screened at the theater. And right now, because of the pandemic, that was not happening. Uh, for example, a lot of the films from Sri Lanka, 
they wanted it uh, they don't want it on an ott no they are very particular that it has to be screened uh, in theater in so theaters. We, yeah so we were actually struggling with um, filmmakers from sri lanka who did not want to share uh, their work on an ott and it's very very difficult because what happens is there are a lot of piracy issues when you go on an ott so filmmakers are not completely confident that festivals can do a good job with the uh, the piracy issues or you know privacy issues and stuff like that uh but ananya will give you a better idea of how our platform works and how well we have uh created this so that filmmakers don't feel that and we've given them all the assurance in the world as possible that um you know their film is in safe hands um and how we've geo blocked all of films for the united states that's awesome yeah. so how do you do that ananya so we had been looking so last year it was kind of you know we pivoted almost at the last minute and so it was is very quick trying to put on this virtual festival and we did it and it went off very well but this year we wanted to be more intentional with choosing the platform because one of the things about indie meme is we're not just trying to show people films but we also want people to come and mingle interact with each other discuss with each other so we wanted it to have more of that community feel you know like how you do when you do go to a theater and you uh, can sit in the lobby and you can chat with people about what did you think of the film and all of that stuff so we wanted to bring that and we did find this platform filmocracy um which the festival is on right now um, which yeah, allows us to do that. i yeah. have been there the way it is it's so user friendly on demand you can go you can go watch theater you can be in that question and answer round which is interactive you know i am a very technically challenged person but when it comes to this and when uh, i started watching all the last week which you had the three days friday saturday sunday and for all the fanesia uh, watchers uh, let me tell you this in, uh, in uh, indie meme film festivals on three days have happened the next three days are friday saturday sunday and uh, what ananya is saying about this entire way that you guys have set it up is brilliant i i i wow for it for being so oh. fr- user friendly it is yes please I go ahead that. Yeah. yeah thank you so much i'm so glad you enjoyed it so that was exactly the point where you can come and you can have fun um but so we wanted that interactive q and a part of it um and we also wanted to make sure that the filmmakers didn't have any concerns and mm-hmm. so the platform itself um it hosts the all of the files on their own platform and you know they do their own encryption to make sure that you cannot download the file in any way from your laptop and i feel like you know this is the direction that people are moving so whether it be on netflix or on any other streaming platform um that's where films want to go now after doing the festival rounds right what's the next step is to yeah. go on to the streaming platforms and in all of these cases it's the same where you have encryption on netflix and it's the same encryption that filmocracy uses on there and to make sure that you can't download um it anyways as yes so shweta how did you get into programming i mean this started 6 years back two people like minded people who come together tripti and alka who feel for films and they start this in a very small way it is a, it is a nonprofit it is funded from people outside whoever can help how does this entire jigsaw puzzle fit together and you are on your sixth year so uh, like you rightly said tripti and alka had this vision and they started off very very small actually their first film festival was very very small and i remember joining them the same year so i have been with them since the second indie meme film festival oh. so firstly this is my fifth festival with uh, the organization and um like i said how they wanted they i think they started off with maybe four or five films initially and today we're at 25 films for the festival which is i think wow. amazing incredible yeah absolutely so we try to bring as much content as possible right so that we're able to uh, give every so it's it's trying to it's trying to bring the community together so it's just not indians it's like the entire south asian population you would bring them together so Amazing. we've been trying it's our motto line parish of bringing the community together exactly <laughs> exactly what indie meet does we are bringing the community together but through cinema so we try to bring let's say uh, the pakistani community to watch 
uh, Indian cinema or the Pakistani community to watch the yes. Afghani <laughs> cinema, right? Where, what we're trying to do here is trying to share every country's culture, their language, their beliefs, their rituals. Uh, it's an educational process. A lot of us don't know what happens in that side of the world. So through cinema, we get to know uh, and we sort of relate. It's like, oh, does this happen in that part of the world too? That is really strange. So you know say. that kind of, exactly. So uh, I think that was how it started off. And that was the motto. Um, so Tripti and Alka started off this. I actually joined them as a volunteer initially. And I learned the process. I, just like Ananya said, I learned ticketing. I, I put in my face. I was like, okay, I'm going to try and do this. I'm going to try and do this. And then one fine day, they asked me, uh, you seem to like watching films so much. Would you like to get on our programming team? I said, uh, sure. I don't know what it is, but I'd definitely like to learn. So I did get on the programming team as one of their volunteers. I learned the process. I kind of understood what it was. It took me about a couple of years. Uh, and then two festivals later, I found myself as a programming director. Um, and then I started curating all of this. And I think uh, I'm a pro now. I don't know. Ananya can say that. <laughs> I think she is. She is a pro. I try to volunteer with the programming team. And I'm going to tell you, it's so tough. It's so tough to have to choose. And you really have to have this very discriminating mind to be able to do it. I think Shweta does an amazing job. Very open and receptive mind for every sort of uh, material that is released out there. It's commendable. And I know the way you, you're, you grip with the amount of films, as you said, 25 more and more now it's happening. So it is a lot of films. So tell me, what's the favorite part of your job? Uh, um, Shweta first. So I would say after the team has watched the films, we actually get on a call and we all discuss it. And what I love the most is there will be people who absolutely hate the film and there will be people on the team that absolutely love the film. The idea is that you talk about it and see if you're able to convert those that hatred to award liking, <laughs> liking or then you kind of I love that part where I can discuss the films with uh, you know with a, a group of people who have different perspectives on that cinema someone might love the cinematography some might some might think it was very average some might think there was an amazing storyline some might think there was a brilliant screenplay um, some might think it was very cliche the dialogues are very cliche Right. So there were so many aspects that we would we would discuss. And I for me, that was like the best part. I would actually look forward to our weekly meetings where we would discuss uh, this and then we would then decide, OK, do we want uh, the idea is to represent every country. So I want a representation as a programming director. I want a representation from every country possible. And I managed to bring seven countries this time with 15 different languages. Um, so that was my goal you know, and uh, I think I was successful and we managed to get a little bit from everywhere. Even from India, I managed to get one from the South, one from the North, one from the East. So how do you get them? I mean, how do you find them? I mean, they are in every place and corner. So it's that, like I said, it's a lot of research. Uh, I put in a lot of effort. It, it took me, I think, close to a month and a half to just research on what films were available and what were not available. Uh, there were a lot of films that had just sort of released and were doing its festival round. So they were a little more easier to get. There were some that were just on the pros production and were not ready for film festival. But right around when our festival started, they said, we are ready with our film. Would you like, yeah. uh, would you like to uh, watch our film and see if it could be? So I did get a few films like that right at the last minute, about yeah. a week before I decided on the schedule. So that talks about in Demean that you are going places, people look at you to submit their films when America is concerned. That's brilliant. So what yeah. is your favorite part, Ananya? Yeah, I think <clears throat> I love, uh, I really do get to support where people watch the films because, you know, Shweta is putting in so much work and you want it to be a good experience for everybody who's coming and to view the films. And like I said earlier, it would be okay, you have all of the details up on the website. You make sure that people know what the work is that people are putting in to making this festival happen, right? Because without that, without an audience, all of the work 
is for nothing. So we're really going out there and trying to connect with the community. And I think when we can achieve that, when I see, for example, in the lobby, people are chatting with each other, people are having fun, people are moving from table to table, or the directors come in and they are able to, you know, get the feedback about their films and they can hear from everybody directly saying, okay, I really loved your film. I love this part. I connected with this part. It makes me feel really happy because we've made all of that happen by giving the right platform for it to be a reality see there i would really tell you it is still initial stages people would watch the film they don't want to come into that group probably because they are virtual they are home they are relaxed they are in the pajamas watching it and then they feel that they'd be seen i felt that way but once they start catching up and people start interacting i think you guys have created that platform so beautifully those chairs with the names you recognize a friend and you just go and chat that i mean brilliant this is something which was very fascinating and i think you've done a very very good job thank you so yeah, yeah thank you so tell me what should people who are coming for the next few days friday saturday sunday look forward to uh, for this festival so we have a really beautiful film on Friday. Uh, we're actually starting uh, it with a Malayalam film, which is from the south of India. Uh, it's called uh, Veil Marangal, but the English translation is Trees Under the Sun. Um, and this is directed by Dr. Biju Kumar Damodaran, who's actually a very well-known director in the south of India. Um, so he's come up with this absolutely stunning visual uh, of uh, a story of... Uh, a Kerala man who is trying, who's immigrating to the north of India, to Himachal Pradesh. Huh. Okay. Um, so a lot of us are immigrants in the United States. I think we can relate. So it's not about immigration from one country to another. It's an immigration with, within the country. But even in India, having so many different states and with so many different languages, it feels like a, you, it feels like you're going to a different country, right? You don't know the language. You don't know the culture. You don't know the people. And you're trying to start a life over there. I really would uh, urge people to watch the film just to kind of resonate that it's just not only crossing the seven seas and going to another part of the world where you think you're uh, a, a migrant, but also within a country, you will feel the same emotion. So, yeah. yeah, it is a really beautiful story of, of the struggle of a, a really poor, poor, poor man. Um, and then on Sunday, sorry, on Saturday, we have actually a short showcase. Uh, I'm going to quickly take a look. Um, it's called In Your Head. Uh, that's what we have themed. So we have three films in there. One is uh, a film from uh, Nepal called Kalam. Uh, one is a film from India called Sunday. And the third one is also from India and it's called Lali. Lali actually features Pankaj Tripathi. A lot of people oh, know. Oh, lovely. I love that person. Oh, he's yes. an amazing actor. Huh? He is an amazing actor. So it's a very, very nice short film. Uh, and Sunday is also a beautiful film uh, that actually has, um, if I'm not mistaken, a very famous Marathi actor. I'm not, I cannot remember. I think his name is Shrikanth something I can't remember his name but very very good actor and all of these stories talk about a little bit about loneliness about mm -hmm. uh, self-realization that's why we themed it in your head because mm -hmm. okay. everything is okay. it's in your head so mm -hmm. that's why we themed uh, right after that we follow it with um, a film from uh, Iran called seven and a half now seven and a half is an anthology of seven women it's actually six women and one girl but the director decided to call it seven and a half. Half, so sweet. <laughs> half, so because it's a young girl and everyone else is a woman. And it, the sto there are seven different stories about women struggling in their society with regards to various, various issues. It could be a relationship with a husband. It could be a relationship with a mother-in-law. It could be a relationship uh, with a boyfriend. It could be a relationship with yourself the way you look, uh, uh, the person does not want to be pregnant, but she is getting pregnant. So a lot of these emotions that we all as women can relate to, it doesn't have to be just from one part of the world. It's someone, I think all the women will relate to it. And it's the most beautiful film. Uh, I was actually amazed at how um, uh, brilliant these Iranian actors are. 
uh, and their craft is absolutely stunning. And Anina can vouch for it because she's watched this film. And we were in awe of these women when we saw this. I'm like, my goodness, what brilliant cinema coming from that part of the world. Mine's so mine. I was so, very, I'm very excited about that film, actually. So awesome. So this uh, weekend has a lot of lineup. So is there a way you line up in the first week, so many films, and then why the next, and how can people get on now also without watching the first few and get on to watching anything? Can you please throw a little bit yeah. of light on that? So um, to, if you, we have, so single tickets are available if you want to catch the live screenings, but it's, there's still time, I think, to buy a badge for the festival and become a member of Indie Meme. So this time, both the badge um, and the membership, we've packaged it together so that you can get that immediately because we do a lot of single screenings throughout the year, which everybody can get access to if you're a member. Um, and you can go on our Eventbrite and you can um, get single tickets for any of the films that you want to um, attend. And I think that Shweta has done an amazing job with the programming and the way that she's broken it up. Um, and I wanted to say this, when you asked the question about how has pandemic affected uh, filmmaking, you know, uh, Shweta had programmed this uh, amazing short showcase called In Lockdown. It, the, th it, the theme was In Lockdown. And it was all of these filmmakers who have taken shot their films during the lockdown. So in some cases, you know, you had one film that was shot, I think, Shwada, correct me, but I think it was from the opposite balcony of <laughs> where the act, uh, the actress was. I think that was the way that it was set up. So it's very interesting the ways in which filmmakers are finding ways to make films even now with all of the restrictions. Really? Um, the and necessity I think is the mother of invention. So right yeah. now, the necessity of taking out your creativity and inventing so many different ways uh, by a camera, which is an iPhone camera, maybe the entire movie shot. It's amazing how the world is changing completely. And you being in your uh, very technical field, you know, technicals are so important right now uh, yeah. with making this to a different level so that it becomes an ease of uh, absorption by the people. Yeah, I think we have had to learn a lot um, over the past year, and I think we're going to take that forward. Uh, but, you know, definitely there's still time. And another exciting thing to look forward to is our closing night, uh, which uh -huh. is happening. Um, and Thanks we'll about it. Yeah, and so we have Sucharita Tyagi, um, who has, it's pretty popular um, film review called Not a, Fil Not a Movie Review. Um, and, you know, we're very excited to have her. Both Chwata and I are big fans. She's super funny. She has great taste in movies. Um, and so she is going to be our host for the, uh, for the closing night. And we'll also have jury awards being given out at the same time, as well as audience awards. Um, and it's a great chance to just come and meet the community and hang out. And we have an excellent film playing on closing night called Zindagi Tamasha, um, which maybe Shweta, you can talk a little bit more about that. Yes, Shweta. So Zindagi Tamasha is a Pakistani film and it had made headlines all over Pakistan for its film and the way it was made. And it was, I believe the censor board had refused to release that film. In so Pakistan. The, so, yeah. Yes. Okay. So the director, Sarmat Khusad, uh, had to fight to bring that film and finally it did get a theatrical release oh. and was also the Oscar entry from Pakistan this year. Mind-blowing. Kudos to this gentleman. He took his heart and now it's in the Oscars. So tell me, uh, what you were just mentioned about the jury awards. How does this jury awards happen? How do you, you curate it, but then how the jury comes on board and how do you select and then how does it uh, make them um, win the awards? So we actually picked the jury uh... Uh, Alka actually helped me pick the jury this time because she knows a lot of people from that, from the film world. And we wanted someone local in Austin. For example, we did, we have filmmakers, we have um, film uh, teach, like we have teachers from film schools, okay, who can understand filmmaking mm -hmm. process, who can understand characterization in the film, can understand screenplay, can understand so these are either filmmakers, the short filmmakers or feature filmmakers or their teachers. 
uh, from the same industry. So that's how we picked uh, the jury. And we separated the jury in, into three sections. One is for narrative features, one is for documentaries, and one is for short films. So they only watch those films. And then they obviously pick the winner, uh, depending on what they thought was the best and uh, what that film brought out in terms of message, in terms of creativity, and all of those aspects. Um, so that's what happened with the jury. So now the jury will share one the, the jury will share their winner with us on Sunday. And the Audience Choice Award, Ananya has created this brilliant uh, form where you can actually, uh, it's like a poll form. So once the viewer has watched the film, the audience has watched the film, she sends out this, uh, it's like a Google poll, right? Yes, Ananya? I am getting those. Yeah, it's, uh, and you every, after every movie you send, that's very good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so then the audience picks their film, so right, it basically rates the film on, on the basis of how they like the film. And then we, we kind of collate the, the numbers and then that's how we get our audience uh, choice award. That's so, so I'm sure all these filmmakers must be waiting to get an Indian uh, jury award or the audience award. And that must be taking them to different places do share a story if you have uh, that has really helped some filmmaker. So um, just to give you an idea, I think about four years ago, um, um, I'm going to say, I think, I think it was 2017. We had screened in Austin. It, at, that, at that time, it was in person, the, in theater screening. Our yeah. closing my film was Lipstick Under My Burqa. Oh my God, I love that film. Very yes. yes, and I only know it because of Indian. Correct. So and we had brought screened, it here. Yes, so we had screened that film, and then we actually brought it to Dallas as well as a single screening right after the festival, and then it had made waves all over the place because we were doing that film. And I remember the actress, one of the actresses, Ahana Kumra. She was here with us, and she was telling us about how the film is is, is has reached a censor board, and they're not willing to release it. And they were struggling. The filmmaker Alankrita Srivasta was really struggling with the film. And she obviously had a vision when she had made this film. And it was a woman-oriented film. So when Ahana went back, right, I think just about a month after Indy Neem had screened it, they came up with this good news that Balaji Telefilms, this big banner, had decided wow. to take over and uh, take over the rights and then distribute the film. And it actually did a theatrical release. Uh, in June of that same year. So that's the power of, you know, taking the film to a festival and then how that uh, film just goes big. Same story with a film called Kamyab, which is a Sanjay Mishra film. We did it in 2019, I believe. The film did it, uh, we screened it as a closing night film uh, in Indie Meme. And then when that film went back to India, Shah Rukh Khan from Red Chili's decided that he wants to take it over and then he started he, with his big banner, he distributed it and it went into the theater. So yes, there are a lot of films <clears throat> where they do their festival rounds and uh, someone you know, from the industry just takes a look at it and says, oh my gosh, I definitely want to be a part of this firm. And then a big banner just picks them up and then, uh, you know. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's Thank wonderful. You. Great work going on. Sorry, Ananya, you were saying something. No, I was just saying with Kamyab, I think it also won the audience awards that year. Uh, so the um, all of our audience attendees, members, everybody voted for that film as their favorite film. And, you know, it did get its shot. It's shot in the limelight. Hmm. Awesome. So what now? What are your goals? What are your uh, um, few? What do you see your indie means future, the way it's moving ahead? I'm sure you guys have that I want to reach that. That is what will make us very happy. Shut I'm going to let Ananya start that conversation first. Yeah. Okay, sure. Um, so I think what I would be excited about is, you know, now that we made this, uh, this move to being online and being available, not just in Austin or not just in Dallas, we're available basically for anybody in the US to see our films and to be part of the community. I would like to continue that. Obviously, we will go back to uh, theater scenes hopefully soon. Uh, hopefully. Can't wait can't wait to go into a big theater and watch it but also it has been so fun to just see people from all over the world come and interact with us and uh, you know have this available to whether it's 
your relatives or your friends and say hey you guys can join us as well um, and earlier you know we used to miss out on a lot of people who couldn't attend in person and then they just missed out on the opportunity of the festival so seeing us grow kind of in that online space as well as doing like a hybrid model of in theater and online screenings that would be kind of a major goal for yeah this. so you learn from this both the feeling but uh, that is also one of the very good points that you were in austin and also in dallas but now you are global you have no boundaries people in new york can watch and meme at the same time which was not possible earlier so it is opening up a lot of other venues but yes the feeling of being in person uh, yes a hybrid would be so interesting to see how you guys come up with in future when things open up yes. so shweta what as a programming director your uh, idea would be in future how do you see that changes that have happened over the years these five years that you have worked and then you see your this industry going ahead in future i i actually want to see uh, the indian independent filmmakers uh, you know i find them struggling right now with uh, not enough people watching their films you know they don't get a platform and they don't get chosen by you know film festivals so my basic idea is if i put a film festival together it should not be the best films it should be a, a mix of everything it could be some really good films it could be a a bunch of new filmmakers who are really looking for a platform this is an advantage for them it's an advantage for us to to showcase what all we are capable of doing right uh, there there could be so many people who have just finished out of an fti or an nnsd or or, or from any film institute and their opportunity to to be on screen right um, to to get out there other than just being in their country this is their opportunity to get out of the country and show their work outside of their country so i uh, hope that whoever you know uh, obviously i cannot be programming director forever someone is going to have to take over at some point in time the idea is to get new people in to get fresh ideas fresh people young people come with more ideas and uh, say okay this is how i want to do my next programming for the festival so the idea is for them to come come up with uh, some cool ideas like this time ananya and i came up with filmocracy maybe they come up with something else you never know or come up with a hybrid model where we could do the theater and at the same time you're doing the theater you also show to the other parts of uh, the us you show the same film awesome. so this is what we want to do for the future uh, and i hope that whoever joins us next and the team is able to take that vision forward awesome kudos to that and uh, people who are watching and independent filmmakers the younger generation who is making films how do they connect with indie if they want to submit their uh, uh, their movies to you so we have a website uh, it's uh, indiememe.org i n d i e m e m e.org there is a place for them to submit their work they can do that for the festival per se we have a, a film freeway is where they can submit their work is where they can upload their uh, video they can do a little synopsis of the film they can write about the director uh, a lot of that information can be shared uh, in fact this year we did get a few films from on film freeway and a lot of films actually uh, on our website which we we thought that you know was very very nice uh, some very very beautiful cinema so that's a great way to reach out to them uh, and there is our email address is right there so they can email their work to us as well so for this final message that you want to give uh, uh, you are on uh, funasia platform and this is a funasia presentation and we are so 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 glad to have these amazing uh, women shweta and ananya from the team of indie meme you guys are doing some great work and um, uh, if you have a message that needs to go out to the community and to people who have missed out on the last weekend but still can catch on please go ahead go ahead ananya i'm going to let you talk about the <laughs> platform i think i just want people to come come for our screenings come for our films it has been so amazing last week and we found so many small connections between 
members who knew the filmmaker and oh, you know had wow. got coffee with the filmmaker written a book about her so there are so many small connection and it's such a small world which you only find out if you come for these screenings and you know uh, mingle with the community and we are really passionate about that we're really passionate about giving um, a platform to these films and giving people a chance to discuss them and you know to grow and learn from them so if if you all want to buy a ticket to indie meme there's still time we still have three more days of incredible programming that shweta and her team have put up and uh, we'd be so excited to see everybody there awesome. so there are, there are still i think about close to 12 to 13 films to catch this coming yeah. weekend uh, they are short films documentaries uh, narrative features very very good cinema uh, we have uh, like i mentioned on friday we just have a uh, one show which is at uh, around 7 o'clock but on saturday and sunday especially saturday we have four shows 12 o'clock 4 o'clock 7 o'clock and 10 o'clock wow and then on sunday of course we have uh, two shows we have a short showcase and then we have our closing night film which is followed by the award ceremony and closing night so i think people will really enjoy themselves so it reminds me remember we used to hire those vcrs and watch movies one after the other the whole night you know that kind of feeling this film festival has so when you also have your film festival on uh, in a theater you have movies one after the other just like this yes we okay. give it like about a break for about an hour where people can go grab something to eat or grab grab a drink uh, a proper film festival goer would want to watch every single film in in the in the festival so ideally we would do it over a weekend so we would start like we would have a soft opening we call it a soft opening on a thursday where we we would do like maybe a youth program invite all these young kids that have made a film you know uh indie meme really believes in bringing young talent as well it's just not the filmmakers from a film institute but a child that has done let's say a a small um assignment for school okay and said i wanted to shoot a film for school we take their film as well and showcase it and then they get their little 5 minute fame and say oh my gosh i was at a film festival and exactly. you know it gives them that encouragement to do more so we do this youth program like a soft opening then on friday we have actually a a, a full fledged red carpet where the the filmmakers the actors the entire team walk on a red carpet and then we call us we have a step and repeat where they all have interviews with the media so we do the full spiel the whole thing the whole nine yards and then we have screening in the theater and then they're all followed by parties at night it's quite um, stressful for the team but it's so much fun and i think that's what ananya and i are missing this year that feel mm-hmm. of being with them and chatting with them though we chat with them uh, virtually but just kind of hanging around with them and you know taking them around austin showing them that beautiful city all of that is what we miss uh but otherwise it's we're doing as much as we can on a virtual platform yeah we are really your covid times everybody's missing a lot of things but i'm so glad that you still are keeping up the spirit high you're giving entertainment to people who are sitting at home and still continuing the effort in such beautiful ways finding out ways to bring all these things to everybody such a big connection to the viewers and the filmmakers it's an amazing connection you guys have been great and more power to you uh, bringing such amazing films which we crave to watch because i feel there is a little dearth of real good films which are not showcased on the big panels and some get lost somewhere and because you pick it up and sometimes that also makes them shine is a brilliant place to be in thank you so much shweta thank you so much indanya thank you for being on financial platform we are so glad uh, that you could join us and you know our ceo vaishali thakkar always uh, uh, is always keen at bringing such amazing uh, work to financial and i'm so glad i can be one of the channels out there absolutely it was an absolute pleasure to be on your show navneeta thank you so much for having us thank you so much for supporting indie meme it really means a lot that uh, through your channel we're able to reach the audience or reach a larger audience and more people worldwide so yes people try and so very best thank you nanya thank you thank you shada bye bye